Hey, I'm Adam from Chode Engineering Performance. What I've got right here is one of our Cummins cylinder heads for the ISB, or the QSB actually. Um, this head is part of our cylinder head exchange program. We also have them in new castings, um, but the cylinder head exchange program, what that means for you is that we have a 48 hour turnaround from the second you call us and say you need a head to the second we ship it out the door. Uh, right now we do have a lot in stock and we usually do keep them in stock, but just so you know, maximum 48 hour turnaround and we will ship ahead to you uh, to get your truck back on the road just that much quicker than waiting for your local machine shop to get the work done for you. Um, all right, so let's talk about what we do to these heads when they come in. Um, the very first thing they do is get a quick cleaning and tear down, uh, and then we do an inspection on them and make sure that they are good candidates for remanufacture. Uh, once we are happy with what we see there, they go into a furnace to get all the oil burned off them and then they go into a media blasting to make sure that the surface is perfectly clean. Um, from there they go into machining. Um, I'd show you this side but it's 140 some odd pound head. I'm sorry, I'm not picking it up. But the whole surface that the gasket goes on gets a full machining um, but it's more than just making sure it's flat and true. Um, Today's MLS gaskets require a special surface finish. It can't be too smooth, it can't be too rough. Um, these gaskets are very high performance gaskets. They're much better than the gas gaskets of, you know, 10, 20 years ago that were composite or even if we go older, they were copper. Those gaskets were meant to fill voids, but they failed often. MLS gaskets of today do not fail as often. Um, they're a much better gasket, but like I said, they require a special surface finish. It takes a lot of time, takes a lot of love, takes a lot of knowledge to make it happen. Um, so we spend the time to make sure that it's done right. Um, so once those are done, once the machining is done, every single Cummins head that we do gets brand new valve seats. We actually machine out the old ones and uh, put our own performance valve seats in there. Uh, the reason we do that is really the only issue the Cummins head had um, was valve seat failures. Um, so we don't want that to happen to you again, so we put all new valve seats in, performance valve seats better than the stock ones, better than the original ones that were in there. Um, they also get new valve stem seals, um, get new valve guides, and threaded blow-proof plugs in the head. So the head from the factory came with uh, freeze plugs in all these locations here. We actually thread those out and put plugs in there so that they will never blow out on you again. Um, we also regrind the factory valves um, after a thorough inspection of course and we do a three angle grind on the valve seats. Um, that gives you optimum sealing and also helps with flow a little bit. Um, yeah and that's pretty much it. We do have some options for these heads though if you wanted to go with something high performance. Um, these are again absolutely not necessary for a stock vehicle or even something with a little bit higher performance but if you're really kind of shooting for the moon there going for a lot higher horsepower um, you can get uh, higher pressure springs higher pressure valve springs uh, what that does is it helps eliminate valve float so what valve float is under high boost or high rpm situations um, under high boost actually the valve gets blown open by that turbo so as the pistons coming up in the bore and coming to top dead center, it can actually contact that valve because the turbo is holding that valve open. Um, and it'll obviously do damage to your engine at that point. Under high RPM, it's essentially the same thing except the valve doesn't have the time to close. Uh, with a stiffer spring, it gets that time back. With a stiffer spring, it can hold that boost pressure in. One of the other options that we have is an O-ring. So what an O-ring is on a head is a machined groove around the combustion chamber that we then place a stainless steel ring into. What that does is it clamps down on that head gasket just a little bit more. And you know that helps eliminate head gasket failures. Again, it's another option for very high performance vehicles. It's not gonna do any damage doing it on a stock truck, but it's just extreme overkill. Um, yeah, so those are our options. If you got any more questions, please put them in the comments below or give us a call and uh, if you need some heads, let us know. We'll get you set up. Thanks.